Alright guys, in this video we are going to continue the PlayStation 5 hype and excitement here because I'm sure that most of you are in a very similar position that I'm in right now where there's a lot going on in the world and there's not really too much to do right now and I'm just sitting here waiting for tomorrow to learn more about the PlayStation 5 and while I've been sitting here waiting, I've also noticed a few interesting things pop up ever since Sony announced that they will actually be revealing the PlayStation 5 specifications tomorrow. I noticed that on Twitter, id Software's lead engine programmer, Billy Kahn, he actually had something to say. And he said, PS5 details will finally be made public tomorrow. My too long didn't read version, it's awesome. And then shortly after that, Jason Schreier of Kotaku actually chimed in and he quote tweeted this. And he was referring to a technically minded person, an unnamed source, that had told him that this is, quote, the most exciting hardware in 20 years, unquote. So yeah, I thought that this was worth mentioning to you guys because I'm sure most of us are already extremely excited and expecting big things from Sony tomorrow when it comes to what they have to reveal about the PlayStation 5, but it seems that developers are also incredibly excited, and as you can tell, we have some people who know a lot about the PlayStation 5 talking a little bit here, not revealing the surprise, not ruining it, and also making sure they don't get in any kind of trouble, but they are emphasizing that this hardware is going to be uh, very, very awesome. And I am starting to hear more and more that it's going to be truly not so much about the T-flop count, but this APU in the PS5 is so highly customized and Mark Cerny has probably done some really incredible things and that's why they're doing this deep dive. And I think it's going to be really exciting. I honestly can't wait. And I just wanted to relay this information to you because if your hype levels weren't high enough as it is, here you go. Just adding more fuel to the fire. I've always kind of said that uh, Sony is in a position where all they have to do is light the match and drop it on the ocean of gasoline and it will set fire almost instantaneously. And nothing proves that point better than the second thing I'm going to talk about here, where if you look at this actual announcement, which was revealed early this morning, within the first two hours of Sony tweeting out that they're going to be doing this PS5 deep dive with Mark Cerny, within that two hour period, it had over 50,000 likes, which is incredible. But when you compare that to Xbox, who yesterday also revealed their full specifications. Within 24 hours, Xbox's tweet, I believe, had about 25,000 likes, which is good, but I decided to keep an eye on this, and at 5 p.m. Eastern time, I noticed that this post from PlayStation was sitting over 100,000 likes and over 33,000 retweets. And now, for an announcement of an announcement, that is incredibly impressive, and it just goes to show how excited people are for this and I know that people are going to say oh well they have more followers so it makes more sense that they would have more likes and retweets but my you know my response to that is why do you think they have more followers you know like there's a reason for that there's a reason why people in general are more excited for the PlayStation 5 announcement or reveal or anything PlayStation 5 related than frankly anything we've seen from Xbox and I'm not trying to take shots I'm really not because I think Xbox has been doing a phenomenal job but that's just the reality of the situation. And, uh, you know, there's no denying that Sony has been most likely just kind of waiting for the right moment. And now I guess they feel this is the right moment. And so, as I said, guys, I'm just sitting here patiently waiting. Not too much to do other than, you know, play some games and uh, chill. But tomorrow's going to be a good day. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. What do you think about somebody who is apparently on the inside relaying to Jason Schreier that this is the most exciting hardware in 20 years? And what do you think about PlayStation's social media presence? What do you think it says about the PlayStation 5 going up against Microsoft's next generation console? I will be interested to see what you guys have to say. Again, leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. really helps it out. Leave it a like if you're excited for the PS5. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.